And now, Storm Tracker Weather with meteorologist Eric Ash. Starting with the winds, what we're expecting, we're expecting high winds today and into the night, into tomorrow as well. Six to 46 miles per hour is what we're looking at for today. Now we're looking at a snow rain mix. We're having a spring snow system for the next couple of days in May. It doesn't happen too often. It's happened about a handful of times in the past 25 years. So here is another one. Pocatello's high temperature will be 51 degrees. Idaho Falls 54. So the lower half of the 50s is the, are, are the highs for the Snake River Plain. Southeast Highlands more so in the 40s here and winds will get up to 42 miles per hour. Central Mountains temperatures will be in the 40s and 50s getting up to 31 miles per hour and then for the Eastern Highlands the snow rain mix 30 miles per hour and temperatures will get up into the 40s except for Yellowstone still struggling to get out of the 30s for highs a high of 36 degrees today for Yellowstone. Tonight overnight hours Snake River Plain staying with strong winds up to 40 miles per hour. Poke Tella will get down to 34 degrees along with Idaho Falls and then 32 degrees, the freezing point for Blackfoot, Rexburg, and St. Anthony. For the Southeast Highlands, also getting up to 40 miles per hour. Temperatures will be at freezing and below, except for Preston right there at freezing at 33 degrees. And then for the Central Mountains, all will be below freezing. Chalice at 31, Arco at 27, Stanley at 19 degrees. Eastern Highlands, also all below freezing temperatures, leading to snow being embedded with rain or it may be straight snow in some locations. Island Park will get down to 25. Yellowstone will get down to 15. And then moving on for tomorrow, which looks to be a repeat of today, just colder temperatures. So we may have more snow embedded in the snow rain mix. Pocatello has a high of 46. Idaho Falls, 50 degrees. And then for the Southeast Highlands, getting up to 41 miles per hour with temperatures with with temperatures in the 30s and 40s. And then moving over to the Central Mountains, we're looking at winds to get up to 32 miles per hour, temperatures in the 40s and 50s, 61 for Salmon, 39 for Stanley. And then finally, in the Eastern Highlands, we are looking at temperatures in the 40s with 30s, upper 30s for Driggs and Yellowstone. Now we'll take a look at the Southeast Idaho Chevy Dealer seven day forecast. Will be windy for the next couple of days. Snow rain mix for the next couple of days. That snow level is going to hang around 5,500 feet today. So snow accumulation will be minimal, less than an inch if you're below 5,500 feet. If you're above 5,500 feet, then more accumulation can occur, perhaps up to three to six inches for many locations. 51 is the high for Pocatello for today. And then for Blackfoot, a high temperature of 52. Tomorrow, a high of 47. So trending downwards and then finally back up into the 60s for the last half of the forecast period. For Idaho Falls, today 54, tomorrow 50 degrees and then back up to 51 and into the 60s again for the la later part of the forecast period. Central Mountains, 50 degrees is the high for today and then for the Teton area, Eastern Highlands, a high of 41. Back to you, Deanne.